Welcome back to Save My Planet. Here we are in beautiful Punta Islita, Costa Rica. It's hard to imagine, but a lot of this area was once used for cattle ranching. To make a living, people would strip the land with slash and burn clearing. That really took a toll. But with few other options, folks either farmed or left. When the area began to turn into an eco-tourist spot, it became pretty clear to a lot of people that creating a greener planet isn't just about protecting the environment. It's also about giving people the opportunity to change their relationship with the places they live. I'm here with Alonzo Bermudez, who's the general manager here at the Hotel Punta Islita. And Alonzo, I cannot believe how beautiful it is. I'm trying to imagine, you know, going, you know, 15, 20, 30 years back. What was this area like? To be honest with you, the, the situation was a lot different. Uh, for example, a lot of cattle raising farm and a lot of agriculture and things like that. So it was mostly subsistence farming, small farmers a Small, growing. Yeah, small farming and a lot of color raising, which wasn't not sustainable at all because, you know, they used to cut trees and burn everything. So, you know, when they burn everything, yeah, every uh, uh, life being died there. Right. So, you know, it was something very difficult. Were you also a farmer here as well? Uh, not really, not myself, because, you know, my family, they were the ones that were doing it, but uh, they saw it that that wasn't sustainable at all, they, you know, that that wasn't gonna be forever, you know? So they sent me to a school. So you left here, you know, because there was, there was no work here, and then with the opening of the Hotel Punta Eslita, there, you know, opened opportunities. Sure, you know, I left because it wasn't nothing to do, basically. Uh, and I came back and I, with the opening of the hotel, I started the front desk and uh, even go step by step until being a general manager. Are a lot of the other people that work here also from the community nearby? Uh, yes, 85% of the employees are from the local communities. If the human being doesn't have an opportunity in no education, it will be a disaster for the environment. So here at the hotel, what we have done is given an opportunity, plus a little bit of education, and then they change, uh, you know, the perspective with the forest and everything. You know, what's so amazing is that, you know, you wouldn't think of it, but the creation of this hotel is making it so that these forests can regenerate um, because the people that used to clear them and used to farm them now have jobs here. You know, the hotel, uh, just not provide only work for, for some of the people, but it also provides a lot of services from the people around. So there's a lot of micro business or micro industry that are developed after the hotel is started. So basically. the people don't work for the hotel, but still they have, the hotel's created these jobs outside the walls of the hotel. Yes, for example, uh, we have a little restaurant at the town uh, called Cambute. Uh -huh. And uh, there's a very nice place where the guests can go and, and enjoy a real local food, for example. I'm here with Jose Pizarro, who is uh, also known as Combute, and is the owner of the restaurant here, Combute, which is right next to the hotel Punta Eslita. So what a great thing. You open this restaurant right next to the hotel. So you not only service international tourists, but local Costa Rican tourists. And now people right here from the town are coming and eating at the restaurant, and you're also employing them. How does that feel? Y eso es lo que nos, lo que nos orgullece mucho porque de ser algo pequeño ya somos ocho familias de aquí cerca o del pueblo cuanto a los proveedores sí lo que son mariscos y todo eso también eh, es una parte muy importante nosotros los compramos y se los pagamos para que para que su familia viva bien. It's just one more example how when a hotel and development and ecotourism are done right how this extends to the whole community and how many lives it affects. Qué gusto, Cambute. Ahorita voy a comer. I can't wait to try this food. I have a good feeling about it. Mucho gusto. Mm. Oh, good. Cambute's restaurant is just one example of how development, when done right, can lead to a whole ecosystem of its own. Up next, we'll see how all these new opportunities have helped one man to start strumming to a different tune.